Yeah. All right, we live. Let's go. Oh All right, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Austin, back in another video. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing 50 questions with a Howard University student. So today, I'm here with... Autumn. Autumn Edwards. So yes. can you give me your Howard intro real quick? Yes. I'm Autumn Edwards. I'm a sophomore computer engineering major, mathematics minor from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the best city in Louisiana. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm from, I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana, the best city no. in... Louisiana. We we have this beef, but anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move past that, you feel me? So what made you wanna choose computer like out of all the majors, what made you wanna choose computer engineering? Okay. So I like math a lot and computer engineering is basically just math applied to computers. So I was choosing between computer science and computer engineering. And computer science is a lot more coding mm -hmm. and not my alley. Computer right. engineering is you know, building it, making stuff. Mm -hmm. So Nah, real, real, real nerd talk, you feel me? <laughs> yes. Real nerd talk. But anyways, um, so you're at Howard, right? So what made you, what made you choose like an HBCU? And then what made you, I guess, choose Howard, like out of all the schools, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Okay, so I knew that I wanted to go to an HBCU. I grew up around Southern University in Baton Rouge. So mm -hmm. I was like, the HBCU feel, that's good. That's nice. I really like the culture, the people, all the different people that I get to meet around Southern. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to be right next to home so i was like okay i want that same feel but let's go far away so howard is the best one you gotta go to the best you mm -hmm. know and it has that same feel that same family vibe so that's why i chose an hbcu and then howard specifically no i got you i respect that so i had a similar reason uh so with me going being from lake charles it's like majority white especially my high school it was majority white and i really wanted to kind of like get away from that um and just kind of feel go to a place where i felt like I could be completely myself and be comfortable with who I was, be like a smart black kid who just enjoyed, enjoyed school and just enjoyed having fun. Um, and that's really what I've gotten uh, so far from my Howard experience. So how would you, how would you rate your Howard experience, you feel me? So far? Yeah. It's been really good. Okay, on like a scale tell, of tell like- us, Tell us why it's been good, Autumn. Ten? Why is it? <laughs> okay, it's been good because I feel like I'm really involved in campus. Mm -hmm. um, campus life. We live on campus, so that's right. good. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have to walk far to go to the stuff. You know, campus parties, yeah, okay, nice, okay, okay. nice, the people, right, right, and then, oh, yo, my crush friends, right, right, okay, so nice. nah, for sure, for sure, uh, so what are you involved in on campus? On campus, I'm in Karstum Scholars, I'm in Louisiana Club with Austin, we're both on eboard, mm -hmm. um, I'm a student ambassador, which is really cool, I am in the Howard Nesby, so it's the National Society of Black Engineers on campus, mm -hmm. and we do tutoring with Nesby Junior with the Howard Middle School. So I get to tutor them for different math competitions, right. get them prepared to okay. crush in the math competition. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm involved in so far on campus. No, nah, I got you. So you said you're a student ambassador. So yes. what is that? What does that entail? So as a student ambassador, like today, I just came back from a meeting with the. Howard University, the Vice President of External Affairs. So mm. I got to meet with him, we had lunch, and we are just talking about school. So opportunities like that you get as an ambassador. They wanna meet with students, mm -hmm. they wanna meet with people who are involved on campus. Some daily activities that we do for student ambassadors include going and doing campus tours, so, and then talking to different people on panels about Howard. Mm -hmm. No, I like that, I like that. So do you think being like within these uh, different organizations like outside of, I guess, just doing traditional school, do you think that's like helped your transition going from obviously high school and then through a virtual pandemic um, to now? Like, did that, did that help your transition? Yeah, no, it definitely did. It's definitely given me a support system of people. You meet people through these different organizations mm -hmm. and it's really easy to make connections with them. So somebody that I met, they recommended me for an internship and I wouldn't have had that recommendation if I wasn't in that specific org. So mm -hmm. stuff like that happens all the time. No, I like that. I like that. I think this being like, you definitely want to get involved as a college student just to help like enrich your uh, college experience overall. Yes. So you said somebody recommended you for an internship. What yeah. internship was that? And could you like tell yeah, us more yeah. about so it? So on campus, I'm involved in a lab with Professor Misra. He is in the physics department and he has ties with NASA. Um, so he saw me working in his lab and he was like, oh, you look like a really good candidate for this internship. He sent me an email, connected me with somebody, and just now I was applying for that internship. Okay. So yeah, we have stuff in the works. Nah, I like that, I like yes, that. Yes. So what did your, um, what was your past research? Like what did you have yeah. to do with that? So this summer I was at LSU, Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, where I'm from, and I was doing research in different types of pair dynamic and linear elasticity models. It's lots of, Python coding, if you know what that is, okay. um, 
lots of number crunching and lots of math too, mapping out stuff. So. Yeah, up your, right up your right alley. Right up my alley. <laughs> no, yes, for sure. Yes. So like your project, so what did the, what was the purpose of like the Python? How did that play in the overall? Yeah, yeah. So the main project is, it's looking at different cracks in surfaces. So cracks in like airplanes, spaceships, and trying to prevent those cracks. Cause you don't mm -hmm. want to be on an airplane and the whole thing fractures. Like right. you don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. So what we were doing is troubleshooting and we were testing it on a, a smaller scale, not on an airplane, but just small scale models and like just basic fractures and then coding to try to test how much pressure we can apply to this force until it breaks basically. Okay, yeah. nah, that's, that's really cool. Um, I wish I knew how to code. Uh, so how long have you like been I guess, did you have like any prior coding experience before? Um, in high school, I had like a minimal experience. I basically learned everything that I know through classes I've taken, through internships, and you learn a lot in internships. Mm -hmm. So, so like you kind of have to like learn, learn yes. from there. Nah, that's really cool. That's really cool. So my next question for you, um, so let's say, let's kind of move away from school, right? So let's say, let's say school didn't exist, mm -hmm. right? What would your dream, I'm gonna say dream career, not dream job, dream career. Career, no school. I like taking pictures a lot, so you can see my wall. There's and you can't. There's some all up there you can't yeah, see, yeah, yeah. but I like taking pictures all the time. So I think something along the like photography, along the lines of that maybe, mm -hmm. or no, I think photography. Photography. Yeah. How long have you been like, I guess, interested in photography? Um, like I'm not really interested in it, like pursuing it right now. I just do it for fun, mm -hmm. but like. All through high school, I feel like I've always been taking pictures. I have like a million cameras. I'm always taking pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, nah, that's really cool. I feel like pictures, you know, you can like capture yes. capture people's feelings in the moment and just like cherish that. Just looking back at like some of these photos of our friends and being able to look back at that is like really cool. Really cool. Uh, so what are some of your, you know, I know you said photography, but what are like some of your other other hobbies that you enjoy? Um, I swim. I love swimming. And mm. then like running, just working out in general. Mm -hmm. Um. What else? Photography, you said that already. Oh, I read a lot. Yes, how could I forget? I'm okay. always reading something. Okay. Yes, so those are some things that I enjoy to do. Okay, so that leads me to my next question. What was the, what was the last book that you read? Okay, ooh. Okay, so I'm reading like a couple of books right now, but the one that I like the most, that I'm enjoying the most right now, it's called Well-Read Black Girl, and it's about just black women and their representation in books. And then it gives lots of recommendations for me as a black woman, what I should be reading, mm -hmm. what I should be learning about. Okay. So that's a really great book that I'm reading right now. No, nah, I like that. So what do you think the most, um, I guess, impactful book that you've read? The most impactful. Since you say you like, you read a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. So I've read Roots like three, four, five times. And I feel like every time I read it, I learn something else, um, just about my past, my ancestry. And it's just really a really um it's a really good read i feel like reading it the first time you don't get it all the way so reading it multiple times i feel like is definitely helping me i like that book a lot no i like that do you have like a specific genre the, of books Ooh, that you're really interested in that's good or is it kind um, of like in high school i really liked like rom-com books stuff like that mm -hmm. now i'm branching out since i go to howard i'm reading a lot of howard alum books like how, books that were written by Howard alum. Mm -hmm. So that's getting me all over the place. Like Toni Morrison, she writes all type of different okay. words, so okay. stuff like that. And then books written by other people that graduated from Howard as well. Okay, no, I like that. Um, a book that I'm currently reading, which was given to me by Autumn, is called yes. Just Mercy. I've said this in like my other videos, but I think one of the most impactful books that I've read, hmm, I think it was, no, no, it was called Ego is the Enemy. Um, it was basically talking about just learning to channel your inner ego and really because I because at times your ego can take over right there'll be times where you feel like um, mm, all right, I'm just gonna say ego is in it. I don't want to like elaborate too much on it but that was the most probably one of the most impactful books that I've read it's called ego is the enemy so my next question for you um, what is your favorite season I know your first name is autumn <laughs> so you know no it's not autumn people always try to ask me that right, right it's right. not it's summer actually and i like summer a lot because i love swimming the best time to swim water parks beaches and i'm from louisiana like the louisiana heat right right and yes. i feel you i feel you now i used to be on summer 
But now I'm like, mm, I like I like spring a little bit more, to be real with you. Okay. Nah, spring is like a nice little transition from a little cold to a little bit warmer. But not Louisiana spring. It's too the, rainy. It's too much yes. rain. But I feel like when I visited Charlotte, North Carolina, their spring was just, it was perfect. Yeah. But summer, you know, the mix between like the middle is like spring and summer. That combo, that's perfect for me. That's good. Is that when you have your best fits or is it typical uh, winter? My Fall best winter. fits are like, I like summer. Summer, summer fits? fits are nice. No, it's like dresses sundress yeah. sundress season yes yes, sir, yes sir. um what is your what is your favorite what is your favorite animal oh hmm i like koalas they're really cute and pandas pandas yes mm. i like not to have i don't really like pets that much so i don't have any pet animals mm -hmm. but like to look at i got you now nah, my favorite is a it's a dolphin Oh, wait, that's cool. Yeah. Like, swimming with dolphins, I would do that. Nah, a funny story, like, I when I visited Miami, I've said this before, I think, in a previous video, um, I ate dolphin, right? It was one of, like, the most exotic foods I've tried. Ew. And I went swimming with the dolphins the next day. You ate it? No, it was, I ate the dolphin the day before, then the next day I went no. swimming with them. But it's a little funny. So, like, what's the most exotic food that you've tried? Um, I really don't eat trying food like that. Like, from Louisiana, they eat, like... Chitlins, raccoon, <laughs> the alligator, <laughs> roadkill. But no, I've never tried any of that. I think the most exotic, maybe like calamari, that's like squid. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. Nah, I like I'm that. not that adventurous with my food palette. No, nah, I got you. What is what is like your favorite? Um, I guess cuisine to consume. Oh, from like okay, like everyday food that I eat a lot. I like pizza. That's very basic. But then like more fancy, like crawfish etouffee. Shrimp fettuccine. Okay. You know. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> you and your, your, your dairy. <laughs> yes, dairy. I love dairy. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question, man. I want to dive a little bit deeper and a little bit more serious question. Um, who inspires you? Who inspires me? My parents. They are very hardworking. Um, my dad owns a business and he's always on his stuff. He's on top of everything. And then my mom is just the epitome of like a working black woman. Uh, she's at home with the family but she's also out doing her stuff at work so she's taking care of the family while also handling her job so that's what i want to be that's what i strive to be like mm -hmm. i got you no i like that i like that i think having somebody to i guess to not really like looking up to but you can pull certain traits out of yeah. different people it's something great to have that's why i think like mentorship and things like that are so so crucial for especially black people just growing up uh just to have that somebody to look up to and be able to like i guess aspire and i guess eventually try to be better you feel yeah, me sure. um so my next question man if you could master a skill or skills what would you want it to be okay i definitely have to master coding because i need that i code for a living right. well i will be coding right, for right. A okay. eventually okay. so i master like different languages like python javascript c plus plus etc etc so mm -hmm. i have to master all of those and then like a non-actual technical skill um ooh. i don't know what about you and then i'll try to think something else oh yeah for me i've said this before um i definitely want to like try to master like a musical instrument so i used to play the piano oh, that's good um, I used to play the piano, but I kind of fell off. So I want to get back into that. You know, you actually play some Beethoven. You know, piano just chilling. Yeah, just you walk up to it. Yeah, play, play yeah. some music. Wait, no, same, Loki. Because I played the piano until like fourth grade, and my sister plays it pretty well. So I mm -hmm. feel, I feel like I want to master the piano as okay, well. Okay, for yeah. sure, for sure. And then another thing, I want to learn a new language. I want to learn outside of English. I want to learn like Spanish. Maybe no, I want to learn. Oh, no, I want to learn Spanish, especially so I can go. Oh. So I can go to the Spanish one is rough. So I can go where to the to Dubai to the to the DR. You oh know my me? gosh! <laughs> yeah, so that's that's like two skills I would want to master. So you okay. you said like a musical instrument and coding. Yes. Not like that. I like that. So my next question for you: Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Mm, okay, I feel like naturally I'm an introverted person, but around people that i'm like comfortable with that i know super extroverted like mm -hmm. i don't know what would you say what do you think i am all right i think autumn all right like she said whenever she's around like like our friend group uh she's definitely extroverted okay but actually I'm I'm not, no i don't really don't think you're introverted mm -hmm. i've never seen you really like it sounds bad but be quiet yeah, yeah i'd be you, talking right you'd be talking <laughs> for me so i think you're more of an uh extrovert okay i think for myself 
I think um what do you think? Okay, I know I low-key think you're more introverted than I am for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not really an introvert either though. Right. I think once it, I think I'm like her, it depends on who I'm around. Cause if I don't really know you, yeah. I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet. And then once I get more comfortable around you, then obviously the extrovert yes. side of me <laughs> comes out. Um, so my next question for you before we like close it out with the final question, if you could give this chapter of your life a title, title. what would it be? Hmm. Okay, I feel like right now we're doing a lot of growth, a lot of growing. So growing would have to be in the title. Growing, maybe that's something like- Water the flower. Growing and glowing, Glo growing and glowing. Yes, the I, GG. I feel like that's so. That sounds cliche, but all right, go, go with glowing, it. Go with it. Go with you know? it. All right, something catchy. Right. Because so right now we're doing, we're experiencing a lot of growth in our life right now. Mm -hmm. um, transitioning from high school, being in the pandemic, and now we're officially on our own. Like this is the first time. Like we're for real, for real. There's mm -hmm. no parents, no nothing. Right, right, right. But also, we're also glowing in this time. Like we're experiencing like truly who we are i feel right. like this is the first time that i'm really experiencing who i am outside of being at home outside of autumn at home in louisiana i'm this is the first time that i'm actually experiencing myself so mm -hmm. that's the glow that i feel like we all have right now mm -hmm. no i like that answer i really do yes. um so you said so so this is our first time on campus right and we went through a, a pandemic so what do you think what do you feel like you learned um i guess about yourself through through that pandemic oh in the pandemic, I think I learned that I, I strive or like I do really well around others, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm isolated, I feel like I'm not as motivated, mm -hmm. maybe something like that. Okay, not for sure. Um, I have something like similar. So I think the biggest thing I learned um, about myself was self-awareness. So being in tune like with my emotions and how I felt on a daily basis, because I'm not going to lie, it was definitely like challenging on my mental because every time my friends weren't home uh, my parents were at work and i was just at home with my own thoughts and i tend to be like an overthinker just over analyzing stuff so just yeah. being in tune with that just knowing how i felt just moving past that and then obviously like another thing i learned was just really being appreciative of the small things and yeah that's that's the biggest thing i learned uh, throughout good. the pandemic so i'm gonna close it out with this question man so what do you want your what do you want your legacy to be my legacy yeah oh that's deep um dang i guess i, I want to be known for like mentoring and helping others mm -hmm. um always being down to help one another to lend a hand when necessary so and a helpful how do i wrap that up just being helpful period yeah Period. Period. Being helpful. All right, cool. <laughs> no, I like that. I like that. So once again, guys, this was was the 50 questions with a Howard University student. I want to thank Autumn Edwards Yay. for doing this video with me. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. So this was the video for today, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace. Bye. Appreciate you, Autumn Edwards. That was so cool.